Wesley is getting ready for the President's Day school pageant. He's stuck playing Taft, and nobody gives a rat's ass about Taft. But he might still get to play Lincoln. Because his friend Danny, the one they like so much because he never does anything wrong, was supposed to play Lincoln, but got pulled from school today by his parents. Why? He got caught with his stuff called AIDS. AIDS? AIDS. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. Boy, he must really be in trouble. <laughs> With that laugh track, kid, we're all in trouble. Marsha calls the school Super Aids Tendon, who says they're positive Danny's positive. George is confused, because Danny is like seven, way too young to be rearranging guts without a rubber. Mr. Belvedere says Danny is a hemophiliac and must have gotten a bad sack of the red stuff in a transfusion. And while they check donor blood now, everyone was too busy seeing Ghostbusters a few years back to dot the I's and cross the T-cells. They ask Wes if he knows what AIDS is. I mean, it's real bad, and you get in real bad trouble if you get caught with it. So sort of like shoplifting. <laughs> this fucking laugh track. They explain AIDS is a disease and Danny is sick. Wesley asks when Danny will get better. They say hard to know, hopefully by Ghostbusters 2. Wesley asks if Danny will be sick all week. Mr. Belvedere says it might be two weeks. Boy, no school, lucky duck. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Wesley's friends say they heard he's replacing Danny as Lincoln. Wesley says that's correct, and... If you give me a bite of your cupcake, I'll free ya. And holy shit, he's lucky that young man didn't slap the cupcake taste right out of his mouth. Wesley's going to Danny's later and asks if anyone else is trying to party. The gang says he's crazy for trying to party, because this AIDS stuff is BNN. Bad news nowadays. One kid's mom said you get sicker and sicker, then your arms and legs fall off. Then, after you no longer have arms or legs, you die. Yeah, and you can get AIDS just by touching someone or talking on the phone. Then they realize Wesley did all that shit with Danny. Cupcake Kid gives Wesley his tainted page streak. Whole gang deuces. Marshall wants to know where Wesley is, and Heather says he's been in the bath for over an hour trying to scrub the AIDS away. Marsha asks if Wesley said anything about, you know... You mean AIDS, Mom? Thank you. Thank you. Danny swings by, and it goes great. Hi, Danny. Hi, Mrs. Owens, Mr. Owens. Hiya, champ. How's it going? Well, I got AIDS, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Certainly the worst laugh track use in this episode. Strong contender for worst laugh track use of all time. Danny tries to give Wesley his Lincoln costume. Wesley says, miss me with that bullshit, and abandons Danny faster than his immune system. Danny apologizes for having AIDS, then sulks away to check his many jacket pockets and see if one of them maybe has the cure for this thing. The parents want to know why Wesley spazzed. He says friends told him you can get AIDS just by swinging on the same swing. His family explains you can get AIDS by swinging on the same swing, but you need to be banging each other on that swing, or sharing dirty swing needles, or doing a wildly dangerous swang and blood transfusion with whoopsie daisy no-no blood. Marcia says parents get nervous since boys will be boys and that means roughhousing, getting scrapes, and sharing the same ice cream bar. Wesley says he feels better and by the way did all those things with Danny and now he's got everybody shook about his knee scab body count and mint chip homie licks. George is reading Wikipedia classic and doesn't understand why there's nothing in here about AIDS. Mr. Belvedere explains it was printed in 1957, years before the US government invented it. Marsha comes home from the library because life was hell before the internet and says she printed out facts and these facts say relax. Doctors agree you cannot get AIDS from karate class or ice cream unless it's ass karate or pralines and heroin. Wesley tries to pay Mr. Belvedere Belvedere to make a new Lincoln costume, because if the fellas at school catch him in Danny's threads, his social life will be the one with the terminal illness. Mr. B says he'll take care of the costume thing and puts it on Kevin. And Kevin makes this plaid disaster, because there's also no cure for bad taste. Wesley doesn't know where he'll ever find a costume in time. Mr. Belvedere says he knows a guy. Danny comes by, using the back door like a side piece, and hands over the threads. Wesley's being a real prick, and Danny says it was nice being his friend. Wesley responds with, It's not my fault you got AIDS. Which is a brutally insensitive thing to say, but damned if it ain't the truth. Wesley realizes he's approaching the Dingus Hall of Fame and asks Danny if he wants to come to the pageant. Danny says he's not allowed at school and Wesley says they'll sneak him in, not dissimilar to the virus that hitched a ride in his blood transfusion. The President's Day pageant is awesome if you like boring shit. It's time for Wesley to do the Gettysburg Address, the stairway to heaven of the President's Day pageant, but he can't because something's not right, so he decides to make things right. This is Danny O'Neill and he was supposed to play Lincoln but he couldn't because he's got AIDS. Oh. Hey! Oh. What are you doing out here? Dennis, get away from him! Jeez, tough room. Wesley gives Danny his hat, and since the Gettysburg Address is too long for a sitcom, Abraham Lincoln farts out a second-string Lincoln quote, and the crowd goes wild. 
Wesley and Danny are post-pageant hanging, and Wesley says it feels like fishing. Danny's never been fishing, and Wesley says they should go. Then make a list of stuff Danny's never done, and do it all. Danny says that sounds nice, but he has full blownsies, so let's be realistic and keep it to one page double-spaced. First on that list, road trip to Gettysburg. And Mr. Belvedere blogs that he took them to Gettysburg, then an amusement park. And Danny and Wesley said now they only have 2,763 more things to do on their list of fun activities. Only they never do any of them because we never see Danny ever again. Because he probably fucking killed himself. Or, you know, died of AIDS. So what did we learn today? If you're doing a sitcom episode about AIDS, give the laugh track guy the day off. And if you're trying to teach your kid about something serious, give them all the facts. The correct facts. Because the kids at school are dumb and full of shit. And you can't get AIDS from ice cream cones and cupcakes unless you're eating them while you have unprotected sex. And don't be mean to a friend who just found out they have AIDS. Because their week is already not going great and now is when they need a friend the most. And bad things can happen to anyone, even nice kids who do nothing wrong. And there's no pair of glasses thick enough to help you see it coming. See you next time on a very special episode.